Every organization has rules in place to maintain order and protect its members. The UFC is not any different. MMA fighting is extremely dangerous, and you can't eliminate injuries. But you can help prevent some of the more severe ones by setting some ground rules. The UFC seems to do well with this. Over the years, the rules have been improved upon to prevent the fighters from sustaining permanent disabling injuries, or even death. In today's video, we will be checking out some of the banned or illegal moves in the UFC. Top on our list is a move that is illegal in almost all forms of sport fighting in the modern world. Only few combat sport events such as Burmese boxing and Vail Tudo allow it. 1. Headbutting. Among popularity, it can totally destroy an opponent for life by causing head trauma. They are easy to perform and almost everyone can carry it out. So, if they were not banned, severe injuries would be common inside the cage. Excessive bleeding or head injury tends to result in referee fight stoppage, which doesn't make for good sport. Our next illegal move is something that everyone agrees is bad for sport. 2. Eye Gouging Eye gouging is extremely dangerous and can result in serious damages. However, they still occur often. Poking an opponent can totally alter the outcome of a fight. To discourage fighters from fighting with their fingers open, offenders are punished with point deductions and even disqualification. At times, they also go unpunished. Eye poking should be frowned at even more and the penalty increased. This is the only way that the fighters will consistently close their fingers when reaching out. Moving on, considered by any fighter. 3. Biting Biting is illegal in the UFC, but thankfully, it hardly occurs because of the mouth guards. To allow biting is to introduce a significantly higher risk of permanent disability to MMA. It would discourage many skilled fighters from participating, thus lowering the quality of the skill level to a reduction in use. Adding such a risk would lend credence to critics who assert that MMA is barbaric, cruel, and uncivilized. Critics who would then be able to have the UFC banned within their respective jurisdictions. This in turn would lead to a reduction in UFC viewership revenue and profits. 4. Hair Pulling Years ago when the UFC was just beginning, hair pulling was legal. It is a painful act that shouldn't be allowed in any sport. Hair pulling is more fit for the streets and would be disadvantageous to fighters with long hairstyles. Presently, hair pulling is an illegal move in the UFC. A good example of a fighter that has used this move to dominate in the past is the MMA icon Royce Gracie. In 1994, Gracie was able to escape a reasonable amount of ground and pound by pulling the hair of his opponent. Royce eventually won the bout via an armbar. Then we have a technique that became illegal in 2022. 5. Fish hooking. Fish hooking is a brutal and messy act that should only be used in life or death situations. It is not suitable for any combat sport setting. Fish hooking is when a fighter places his fingers inside an opponent's mouth or nostrils and pulls it out of the body's midline. It is a barbaric practice and rarely happens inside the octagon. It is prohibited to perform fish hooking in MMA fighting, and it's also unlawful to employ it on civilians since it causes permanent damages. Six groin attacks. Groin attacks do a lot of damage to the person on the receiving end and doesn't really help the other fighter significantly. It doesn't end a fight particularly quickly, and while Keith Hackney did use them to great effect against Joe Sun, that's not what ended the fight. To reduce the pain from groin attacks, fighters are advised to wear cups. However, kicks to the groins are still painful. If an opponent fails to recover quickly after receiving an attack to the groin, then the fight could be declared either a contest. 7. Small Joint Manipulation It is illegal to grab fingers or toes and bend them intentionally. If the manipulation of small joints were not frowned at by the UFC, it would probably happen in every fight. It is almost impossible for this move to happen accidentally. Instead of employing this technique, MMA fighters are always focused on using BJJ submissions on the bigger joints like the arms, shoulders, or legs. Even when these joint locks are allowed, competitors still have to take extra caution to avoid hurting their opponents. 8. Rabbit Punches A rabbit punch is a blow to the back of the head or to the base of the skull. It is considered especially dangerous because it can damage the cervical vertebrae and subsequently the spinal cord, which may lead to irreparable spinal cord injury and even death. 
It is more common in boxing because of the many head movements there. In MMA, it occurs less frequently. The referees are trained to recognize and penalize violators. One of the notable fight where rabbit punches resulted in a severe damage occurred in 2015 between Terrell Williams and Pritchard Colon. Colin was at the receiving end of the illegal punches and ended up in a vegetative state. 9. 12 to 6 elbows. 12 to 6 elbows, also known as downward elbow strikes, have been banned in the UFC. The only thing that makes the strike illegal is the positioning thrust of the point of the elbow. Landing this move on an opponent's head can cause severe damages to the opponent. Any fighter that is caught using the 12 to 6 elbows would instantly be disqualified. A good example of the 12 to 6 elbows in action was at the fight between John Jones and Mark Hamill. Jones lost the match when he went ahead to hit Hamill with some 12 to 6 elbows. It was the only loss that Jones suffered in his career. 10. Pile driving. Pile driving is a move where a fighter spikes an opponent to the canvas on the head or neck. It is legal in WWE and Pride, but illegal in the UFC, especially when the intention is to hurt the opponent. Pile driving can cause severe harm to the spine. So this is our list of banned or illegal moves in the UFC. Which of these moves do you think is most dangerous? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.